Well, it is the long-awaited re-grand opening of the Portland Japanese Garden. I'm here with Erica. Erica, this is so momentous. It's wonderful. We could not be more excited, and we're super excited for the public to see it on Sunday and come and experience the cultural village for themselves. So many of our partners, business partners, supporters, donors, have been waiting for this yes. moment. So 19 months under construction, wow. and um, you know, it's, it's nice to actually see it come to right. life and see it happening all around us. What a lively group. So. so where are we right now? So this is the cultural village. So what folks, uh, if they're familiar with our garden, which hopefully you are, <laughs> um, our original five garden spaces were untouched. Mm -hmm. And uh, there are three new gardens here in the cultural village and three new buildings, basically. Oh, it's uh, the easiest way to break it down. Sure. And you've heard about Kengo Kuma, yes, our world-renowned yeah, architect, architect wonderful. behind this project, who is also designing the 2020 uh, Summer Olympic I Stadium saw that. Yeah, in it's Tokyo. Very interesting. So we're really excited and so happy and just really lucky to have him on this project. But you can see a lot of his designs. So people say, well, what's new? What's exciting about this? Right, right. What is? <laughs> There's so much. Um, so all of these rooftops are designed in a zigzag pattern to emulate the way that geese fly. Ah, oh, we can relate to that. Yeah, right? <laughs> we have so a lot here. We have a lot here in the Northwest. <laughs> Definitely. Um, this behind us, I don't know if you can see that, we'll shoot it later, but it's basically a Subo Niwa, which is a small vignette garden. So oh. it's one of those small garden spaces that exists in Japan in a, in a concrete area, mm -hmm. right, that would like look like it wouldn't belong, but it's there because right. you need that green space. Definitely. Um, we have our new bonsai terrace. And, and we it is also, gorgeous. Right, and our new, uh, Entry garden, which is basically the way we're explaining it to folks, is all of the space before you enter the antique gate. Sure. So the cascading water as you walk in, and um, wow. and you guys already featured our our castle wall. So yes, we got the and middle. that's so cool. What we were joking about is that the last time you did a story on the castle wall is, I mean, it's almost you know 20 feet. It was huge. Yes. And now with these buildings being completed, it, it's like, oh, okay, it's all about relative around, around the same size, exactly. but. The castle wall, for those folks who didn't know, um, was built strictly with hand tools mm -hmm. and no cement. Uh, 15th generation stonemason who came from Japan, his team finished early, Whoa. built the castle wall. His whole family built, builds walls that have withstood all the earthquakes and tsunamis in Japan. Amazing. So super proud of that element. I could go on and on and on. <laughs> it's really come out. Right. I mean, we're inviting everyone in the community and it's such a bridge between community and the garden. Yes. It's like, I know that you wanted that, that to be the, the foremost in your mind. Right. And what we're excited about is moving forward. So this gives us that opportunity. You know, first I want to say a lot of people might say, oh, but this is going to bring the crowds. Well, the crowds were already coming. Mm -hmm. We were right. pretty snug, you know, so sure. it's nice to give people room to breathe, walk right. around. They're already coming and now there's more space to appreciate. Right. But with that said, you've got all of this space to do events, to, to host, you know, learning about bonsai, right. to learn about calligraphy or Japanese gardening, or we've got our institute that'll be happening in the next year. Yes, we have so. to talk about that another time. I know. Sure. So yeah, there's, there's just so much happening and um, it's just it's a neat opportunity to give back to our community mm -hmm. and cultural learning and it, it, it's a really good time a really good climate right now to you know accept all yes. cultures love all people and that's what we're all about right. so yeah and that is so true and really the part of the garden has not been affected by it so you still have that sereneness right. that tranquility yep. but then you can come here and it's a whole different kind of environment and an energy right so really you get so much when you come to the garden I know and we can't not talk about the umami cafe right right because, so that's those of you too. who know our garden know that we always do the tea ceremony and in the summers it's been um, every third Saturday and we have the tea house and folks can come and watch our traditional tea ceremony ceremony which is very, very interesting. you know yes. very interesting and there, it's done with intention and everything has meaning but now we have an opportunity to serve tea and authentic Japanese treats to our guests because it was missing people would say where can I go for some tea well right. now you can come here and uh, um, have some really authentic tea and they make it in front of you and they show you it's just nice. really neat there's uh, so much so another dimension when you come so really please come out this weekend on Sunday to the grand opening or any time it's open now please go to gardentime.tv we'll click you over to their website and you get all that information. Thanks yep. so much and you congratulations. Bet. Yeah, thank you. We can't wait to see you.